Peace and blessings in this corner box of 24. Good afternoon. I was going to say good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing pretty good myself. Can't complain. As I always say, God is good and God is great. So we know what it, we know what we saw last night, man. Um, a lot of different variables, a lot of different things, a lot of different things being said about Earl Spencer Ugas. Okay, I'm gonna start off by saying that, you know, I'm a Jerron Boots Innes man, and I like Bud Crawford. And um, the fight that everybody wants to see is Bud Crawford and Earl Spence. Okay, I'm not taking anything away from Ugas. But I don't think they had a good game plan. It's either they didn't have a good game plan or some body shots broke him down. He was hurt. He really couldn't do anything. It's just one or the other. Okay? I'm not taking anything away from Spence. All right? Because he fought. And I don't think he's different. I think he's back to the to the fighter that he was. You know, I think he's the same fighter. He was coming forward. He was throwing different shots. He was mixing up his punches. He was He was throwing his jab. He was going to the body. He was going upstairs, like he was coming forward. That's what he does. But what he does do, that could have been capitalized on, Solace and Ugas. And when y'all go back and watch the fight, y'all say, man, Ugas going to say, man, I could have did this, I could have did that. Because the times that he did punch Errol to the body, stopped uh, Errol Spence. When you punch him, he stops his action. He don't keep coming. He don't keep punching. Okay, so... The times that he punched him in the body, and in the sixth round, even before the mouthpiece, he hurt him. And then with the mouthpiece incident, he hurt him. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't follow up. He gave him an out, and Earl Spence recuperated after that sixth round and came right back. You see what I'm saying? Earl Spence can't fight going backwards. I keep saying this. He can't fight up the back foot. So when you push him backwards, he doesn't throw punches. I don't know how they didn't see that. Silas talked about how he throws the left, the double jab, and then he throws the cross. Okay, you picked that up, but you couldn't pick up that this man can't fight going backwards, that he can't fight off his back foot, and that you should push him, and that you could do in and out on him like Sean Porter did? That should have been a fight that you studied. You should have studied Kel Brook, studied Sean Porter, studied Mikey Garcia. Okay, those are the fights that you study, and then you look at your fighter and you implement that as best as you can. So only thing I could see, like I said, is maybe the body shots got him and he really couldn't do anything. But um, at the end of the day, man, you know, Earl Spence got the belts, all right? He's a unified champion. Now, I'm going to say this. Derrick James, man, I like him as a trainer. But we're not going to act stupid, okay? So he was interviewed by a reporter and he asked him about Terrence Crawford. He seems to look, he gets a little irritated when he's asked about Crawford. I don't know why. Okay, because um, that's the fight that everybody wants to see. That fight should have happened two years ago at least. So here's the thing. He was asked about Terrence Crawford and Terrence Crawford's fight game. And he said he don't really know too much about Crawford because he really doesn't watch his fights. He said he might have saw a couple of his fights, maybe two or three of his fights, but he said he really don't know about Crawford like that because he don't watch his fights, right? And he just said that to the reporter. Then the reporter asked him about Terrence Crawford and his fights and how he fights and the way he fights. And he talked about athleticism. And Derrick James, Spence trainer, said, yeah, he's athletic. And then he said, but that's not everything. And then he brought up Roy Jones, the, 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 the gift and the curse. He said it's like the gift and the curse, like. Roy Jones was very athletic, but then when that ran out, look what happened to him. He tried to make reference and comparison to that with uh, Bud Crawford. Totally different, two, two, two different fighters, okay? Bud can switch back and forth. Bud throws a jab. Bud knows how to throw combinations. Bud can move. Bud got defense. Bud is fast. He got different but it's different things to his game. There ain't no comparison to Roy Jones. Okay, so ain't no gift and no curse, right? Then he said that, then the reporter asked him, he said, well, no, the reporter said, well, well, usually when people talk about Terrence Crawford, they talk about his ring IQ, not athleticism. And then Derrick James gave it all away when he said, oh, but that's what I see. 
He said, I'm just telling you what I saw. But wait a minute, you just said you don't watch Terrence Crawford. So how would you know if his ring, if he has ring IQ or not? You said you don't watch him. See, so he gave it away with that. Man, listen, if you're a trainer, you should be watching a potential big fight with a fighter like that. And if this fight was supposed to happen three years ago, I know you don't watch Terrence Crawford. So just, just cut it out, right? And then the other thing I don't like that he did was he talked about how the fight with Sean Porter and Earl Terrence Crawford, his father, stopped the fight. I don't have a problem with that stoppage because his father saw that Sean Porter was getting hurt. He knocked him down twice, and he said, you know what? I don't want to see him get knocked out and hurt, so I'm stopping it. I don't have a problem with that, okay? That's his business, and that's his son. And Sean Porter might not have liked it, but I bet you later on he'll thank him. You see what I'm saying? After, especially after he see what Terrence Crawford is going to do to Earl Spence. So... Listen, he was hurting him, man, and he was going to keep hurting him. So I don't have any problem with that stoppage. People might have a problem with it, but I don't have a problem with it. Okay? Um, and then he also said that, look, they don't look at their relationship now. They haven't talked since that day. That's not your business. That's personal. And if it's true, I don't know if that's true. But if it's true, why are you bringing that up? Okay? That's not for you, Derrick James, as a trainer, to be bringing that up. That's something personal. Keep it on boxing because that's their other relationship. They got a boxing relationship as a trainer and, 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 a, and a boxer, father, son. That has nothing to do with you. It may not even be true what you're saying. So why say it? And if it is true, it's not your business. All right? Keep it on boxing, Derrick James. Okay? Keep it on the fact that y'all really didn't want this fight. Y'all really don't want to fight Bud Crawford. Didn't want to fight him. And now you're kind of pushed into a corner that if you want to be undisputed, and hopefully you don't run away from that because you could say, well, I'm unified now. I'm good. Let me move on to 154. But everybody wants that fight and you need that fight for your legacy. Your legacy is not going to be Danny Garcia, Kel Brook, Sean Porter. You can get with that. But your real legacy is going to come from fighting Terrence Crawford. Okay? And if you beat him, that's really going to put you on a that really will give you a great status as far as boxing is concerned and pound for pound and all time great and all of that. You need a fight like that. <coughs> excuse me. You need, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. You need a fight like that. So at the end of the day, man, just stop climbing around. Crawford said he made a response to Errol Spence last night. He said, keep them belts warm because I'm coming to get them. Okay? And he said, it's time for the real fight now. No more excuses. No more talking about the other side of the street and all that. Let's make it happen. Okay? So, Errol Spence, you called him out at the fight. You answered the question right by Jim Gray. Who's next? You know who I want to score. Okay, that's what you said. You've been, okay? You've been talking, but let's see if you're going to back it up and not move up to 154 and try to skip that. All right? So that's what I got for the day, man. I appreciate y'all. Please subscribe to the page. Comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. I'm just trying to make things better. I will make things better. Okay. Um, peace and blessings in this corner, Boxing 24. Protect yourself, social distance. Stay safe out there. COVID is still here. All right. Everybody have a blessed day.